Good morning from Seattle. I'm so excited to spend the weekend here. We're gonna be here for just about two and a half days. We got here last night, so tired. We had like some all-you-can-eat Asian buffet, which was so good and so cheap. We're gonna walk around Pike Place right now and I'm gonna show you a bit around Seattle and of course we're gonna hit the outlets at the end. This is my outfit for the day. Actually love this skirt. I got it one year ago from Aritzia's warehouse sale and I never wore it until today. Right in the heart of downtown, Biscuit Bitch. This is the original Starbucks line and to give you context, it is 10 a.m. right now. It is so early, but coffee waits for no one. This is within Pike Place, so lots of local jewelers, shops, really fun to walk around. Wow, so it is just a touch crowded here. There's so many shops, so many things though. It's a little bit hard to walk through. This is where they make cheese look. They're just mixing the cheese curds here and that giant vat of cheese behind this. This is amazing. I love that guy's job. Quick sandwich to start off the day. This is the cheesiest goodness ever. This is the flagship with a tomato sauce on it. Wow. So, of course, we are going to try the Pike Place chowder. We're actually just going down the list and doing everything. And the lineup takes about 30 minutes if you want to stand here, or we can also order it online, which is what we're doing right now. All right, so we picked up everything. We decided to go back to our hotel and eat it. So we got the hot mess bitch from Biscuit Bitch, which I'm so excited to dig in. And of course, the famous Pike Place chowder. I think we got the clam and crab um, seafood with the bread. And we got a takeout to go, so we're just going to pour that right in. Okay, this is going to be messy. So this is grab and oyster. I love how it's like right in the bread bowl. So cute. It's so flavorful. The takeout was so much easier. After we got like the credit card figured out, like online paying, it was like a two minute wait. Wow. It is such a great day today. I'm loving those like round circular buildings behind me. And look at this one. This gives me like European vibes. Just window shopping. This is like the super popular new Bottega Veneta bag that everyone is carrying. I think it's at the Atom Mall. It is quite cute actually. Online. I love how it looks like chocolate swirls. Miss Ruching. Wow. Okay, so now we don't have Nordstrom's in Canada now. It's kind of nice to see. Ooh, it's on sale. Oh, actually, these are Jeffrey Campbell's, but they're so cute. I love that denim flower there. What else do we have? Okay, nothing crazy, but that denim flower one from Jeffrey Campbell was really cute. I've always wanted this jewelry case. Would we say that this is almost like a practical carry-on? Hi guys! Oh, I love that one. I think this is new. I didn't know they came out with this like ladder horizontal one. Pretty. I love the mini ones and look at this. 
Put our horizontal crochet Matisse East West. Givenchy. This like East West kind of purse is really in right now. It's a lot of them. Oh yes. Pretty. Love this. It's actually way smaller than I thought. And all the Coco handles have that beautiful chain on the top handle. I'm not sure how I feel about that. What do you guys think? What do you think? Pretty cute. This is such a beautiful leather. <laughs> oh my god. That's so pretty. Is this what I think it is? Light. No, it's like it's like hiking. Sandals. Oh, these were pink ones are fun. Oh wow, there's like a logo inside that's shiny. I tried on these boots last time. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, if these are not bedroom shoes, tell me what these are for. Oh, wow, this is pretty nice. I like the vintage print on these YSLs. Okay, I know I'm one of those people, but how many times am I gonna have to try on this Max Mara Teddy before I buy it? I'm not sure but I do love it every time I see it. I love this ready to wear piece. It's 9,700 and this is like a full jacket. here was actually really good it was a bit different than my local store so it's always nice to check out a different Chanel and how nice is it to try everything on wonderful we are at Saks Fifth Avenue there's so much clearance right now some of these evening dresses are actually so so cute these are like really great for some wedding cocktail dresses there's theory here and this one is so ridiculous. There's so many crystals on it, but I absolutely love the shape on this. $6.50, it's 60% off. These are actually really pretty. These are like wedding shoes. They're about half off. There's a couple of shoes, nothing super crazy. But a couple of like nice brands. This is beautiful from Manolo. I love the crystals in the front. And it's 50% off. It's my size. And these are not bad. These are Bottegas. And I love the round toe in the front. 60% off. If you're a 37 and a half Seattle outlet, this is an awesome basic shoe. I love these Jimmy shoes. They're 50% off. They're my size. And I love all the lace. It's such a classic shape now. Like I've been seeing them everywhere. We actually do see them later as well. And I want to say that I've seen this brand in Paris when I was trying on those boots that Kylie Jenner was wearing. The shape isn't super crazy, but this brand is really interesting. I'll be a lookout in this brand in the future. And we are done here. The last couple of cool things is that Roger Revere shoe. I do like these Stuart Wiseman shoes. I wish they were full crystal, but they're just like that sparkly fabric. 
but it is really nice shape the price is actually okay and i wouldn't mind like going out for a great night out with these this is pacific place so everything here that all the shops that we're going into is at pioneer place so where all the department stores are there's the lemon in this mall there's also tiffany and co and i think those are basically the only two stores that matter in this mall have a ban mm -hmm. so i'm playing ben Maybe. This style of the we could also have an exotic style, mm. you know, with different shapes. Especially emerald cut is kind of step cut, so yeah. they don't have that many like a uh, facet, so it will not look like the. I do think this one from Tiffany's is quite nice. What do you think about the necklaces, or even the ring and the bracelet variation? I think this one, like the smile necklace, this one I think looks like the biggest one and I think this looks really good on. When it's on display, it doesn't do it justice. This is the extra large. This is the medium. This is the large size and it's a little bit skinnier. I loved everything I tried on at Tiffany's, especially that extra large smile necklace. I never even thought about that. And now we are at the Amazon Spheres right behind me and they have an Amazon ghost store that we're gonna check out. I didn't even know this existed. There's three spheres. There are trees inside the buildings too. Too. This is a women's size. But I do like that tonal coloring in this shop. Coffee break. This is the Space Needle, one of Seattle's most attractive tourist destination. It is 50 American dollars to get up there, but it has like a 360 view of the city. This is the Chichulu Museum. So many glass pieces that are gorgeous here. This is the Chichulu Museum, which is that beautiful glass sculpture. And there's lots of art and People are taking picnics around this area, which is really cute. There's lots of shade, and it's also next to the space, you know, so you get kind of all the attractions all in one area. And there's also the Pop Museum that is right next to the door as well. This is the Museum of Pop Culture, and the sculptural building is gorgeous. This architect, I believe, designed a lot of like the opera houses all around the world, including like Portugal and Europe. Super cool on the outside. Love it. The Olympic Sculpture Park is a great area to check out, dog friendly. And it's actually a free park, so it's great to just stroll around here. Lots of sculptures. It's quite large, so I see a lot of people like running or taking walks after lunch. Oh my god, look at this sculpture. This is my favorite one. And look what they're looking at. Such a gorgeous view. This is a really nice walk on the waterfront. There is the great Ferris wheel, which is iconic for Seattle. And I see some cruises on the other side of this too. Such an amazing sunny day. We're so lucky, but it is like sweating. The waterfront walk is so pretty and I think it's actually so worth it just to go up that Ferris wheel. This whole area is very touristy, but I love it. There's so many, there's so many shops and restaurants around this area and it is completely free if you just want to walk through. Seattle's antique market. Some really interesting things here. I love walking through these. Look at the mannequins in the back wearing vintage clothing. 
while the Seattle oh, Selfie lights. Museum. Yeah, they have like moonlights. lights. You get your perfect Instagram selfie. This is classic. We have to pass by close to Pike Place. Seattle's gum wall. How nasty is this? <laughs> Ending off the day just walking through the Pike Place one more time and we are heading to dinner. This is my birthday outfit. We are heading to dinner now. This is the cutest dress from House of CB. This is the rooftop bar on top of her hotel. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's such a gorgeous view out here. Wow. Eden Hill is where we're having dinner. I'm so excited. This is a quick look at the menu. We're gonna grab a la carte. There's a couple of really interesting things I'm excited to try. And look at the restaurant. The decor is so, so cute. I'm so excited. This is gonna be considered my birthday dinner. And I am like a one shot wonder. I like literally have one drink and I am good for the night. But I am so excited for dinner and I'm so happy you are here to join me for the rest of our first full day in Seattle. Shape and check out and pickle radishes. Thank you. Thank you. Cauliflower fried. Mm. Not bad. This is the black cod. Black cod is one of my favorite favorite dishes, and I believe it's a tomato with chili on top. It looks so delicious. This is a crispy pig head candy bar. What was that to you? That was such a wonderful dinner. Thank you so much for joining me today with our day in Seattle. Please tune in and subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow with some outlet shopping and ending off our night at the rooftop bar at Thomas.